So I've already opened my Chrome browser and make sure that you've already logged into your Gmail account just like mine. Then we're going to type on our address bar slides.google.com. So this is how it's going to look like. So under templates gallery, you will find a lot of designs here. So whatever you like, you can choose from any of the designs. For now, we are just going to click on the blank presentation. So here in the upper left, we are going to rename this one as about myself. You don't need to save this one anymore. Once you are going to hit your enter key on your keyboard, automatically it will be saved on your drive. On the sidebar, you will find additional design templates. If you wish to modify it, then you can do it from here. For now, we are just going to stick with the default. So for my heading, I'm going to type in about myself, then type my name over here. Then afterwards, if I wish to add a new slide, you're just going to click on new slide. Be sure that you have already prepared. This is one of my tips. So prepare all your images as well as the script that you're going to use for your presentation so that you can just copy it and paste it on your Google Slides document. So I'm going to copy whatever is on my Microsoft Word document. I've already prepared it a while ago. So I'm just going to click on paste without form formatting. So again, I'm going to right click and create a new slide. This time I'm going to make this one a little bit faster. Same thing, I've created some sort of a dummy paragraph, set of paragraph. You can resize it if you want. For now, I'm just going to stick with the basics. I'm going to right click on this one and click on duplicate slide. So instead of childhood years, I'm going to change this one to teenage years. There. Right click again, then duplicate slide, and I'm going to change this one to present. There you go. Now I'm going to add a new slide again. So that I can put this one up. Right click, new slide then paste without formatting. Same thing, here are a couple of bulleted text here. Then for this one, I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to change the second one to something like sad. What makes me sad and what makes me happy. Something like that. It's just a couple of examples, guys. So for me about myself, if I wish to change the background, all I need to do is just to right click and format background. I can choose from the colors in here. So let's say if I'm going to choose the deep yellow or the Lamborghini yellow, it looks like this. Click on add to theme and automatically it will be applied on all of the slides that you have on your document. For example, if you wish to change the background to something like an image so click on change background choose image click on browse then I have already downloaded a couple of background images in here so I'm just going to choose this one click on done now as you can see it's kind of hard to read because it's black so all I need to do is just to click on insert then click on shapes I'm going to choose this rectangle right here draw it over my document then if you want to change the color you can just click on fill color and choose the deep yellow that I have a while ago then for the border I'm just going to choose transparent so that there will be no border borders for this one um, click on send to back there you go. So a couple of adjustment here. I'm just going to change the font formatting for this. So to do that, highlight all the text. Click on Arial. So I'm going to change this one to something like a minimalist one. So I'm going to choose Roboto uh, Bold. Okay. 
there you go so you can resize it through here same thing with this one I'm going to change it to the same font so that to be consistent change it to something like normal and for the size and I'm going to change the font color the text color there you go a couple more tweaking or changes so that it would look nice and I'm going to add Google Slides there you go that's it that's how you're going to create your title page for this one since we are going to deal with a lot of formatting so you're going to click on slide click on edit theme so that whatever you're going to edit in here will be applied throughout your document same thing I'm going to use Roboto then click on bold then I'm going to highlight this area right here by using Control A, same font, normal, and the color will be black. Okay, I think this is it. Okay, I'm just going to change this one to black, this one to, yeah, the original font, change the size, this one as well. Then close it. There you go. So all of the slides are affected already with the formatting that we have just created. So I'm just going to resize this one so that I can insert an image in this area. So if you wish to insert image, just click on insert, upload from computer. I have a couple of images here. So I'm going to use for about me my own image. Now if you, I wish to resize it, I'm just going to use crop image because if you're going to resize it like that, it doesn't look good. So click on crop, then drag upwards, drag downwards a little bit. I think that's it. So you're just going to play with the sizing. Same thing with this. Let's make this one a little bit faster. So change it to justified for the alignment. Again, I'm going to crop this one. So if you think that this tutorial is quite fast, you can always pause it and play it. So let's continue with what we have done a while ago. Click on insert image, upload from computer, then crop. Same steps, just for you guys to be familiar with how to work on this application. So I'm going to use my image right here for the present. A little bit of cropping. There you go. Now for what makes me happy, if you wish to add a new image from the internet, I'm just going to open a new tab. So I'm going to use unsplash.com. So this is some sort of a copyright free image uh, database. So I'm going to search for happy or unhappy. So I think this dog right here looks cute. Right click, copy image. Then you can just paste it here. Control V or right click paste. Resize it. If you wish to crop it, you can crop it. If not, then that would be okay. Same thing with this one, what makes me happy. Going back to our previous tab. I'm just going to change this one to happy. there perfect right click copy image and paste it here i'm going to crop it a little bit then resize it so that's it now as you can see we've already created a couple of slides for our presentation still it doesn't look good so we're going to format this one um, this time I'm going to add a little bit of enhancement. Let's say if I'm going to insert an icon. So I'm going to search for the web. Let's say hacker icon. I'm going to choose this one. Click on insert. You can choose any icons that you like. I'm just trying to use this one because it fits with whatever I have in here. There you go. Again, this is pretty much simple since we're dealing with the basics and the beginner's guide for uh, Google Slides. So this is how it's going to look like. There are no effects. There are no animations or transitions. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add some sort of an animation per slide. So to do that, 
you can click it here change transition or you can click on the slide menu and click on transition so i'm just going to use this one anyway it's the same from here from this panel since it's none so i'm just going to use fade so how fast your transition will be so i'm just going to use that one you can play it to preview that's how it's going to look like now up next is if you wish to apply it to all slides just click on this one and all of the slides you will be seeing something like this this icon right here which means that you've already applied a couple of transitions for all of the slides in your document now if you wish to provide animation to that icon right there just click on animate then I think I'm going to choose after previews then play so after the transition then it will appear something like that so if you wish to add animation on other elements on different slides um, you can just click on a particular slide let's say this one the second slide I'm going to animate this one the about me so click on add animation I'm just going to choose after previews or after the transition something like that for this one add animation again be sure that you have selected the proper element that you wish to add animation I'm going to use after previews it's up to you guys whichever uh, animation type you're going to use for this one uh, after previous as well so if ever you are going to preview this one this is how it's going to look like it will appear one at a time there so there you go that is how you're going to create a simple slideshow in Google Slides so it is automatically animating because I have chosen a particular option that deals with after preview something like that you can choose on click if you want to choose an animation that you need uh, you need to click it before it's going to move to the next one so it's already being saved uh, up next is we are going to deal with a couple of formatting for our image let's say for this one if you want this one to be circular all you need to do is just to select the image then click on mask image this arrow right here then choose a shape let's say if I'm going to choose uh, which shape a circle shape this one click on that one and automatically it will have a circular effect on its border the okay, same thing with the other images just to make it look nice there for this one I'm going to choose a different one rounded rectangle will do okay for this same thing and the doggo there okay so that's it that is how you're going to create a simple uh, beginner's guide for Google slides so a couple of enhancements formatting it's up to you guys how you're going to format it it's the same as other text editors in there so it's not very hard for you guys to understand how it looks okay so if you have questions please feel free to comment down below and subscribe for more tutorials like this okay so bye for now